Hi everyone, today's video will be a tutorial on how to use our really new Medfusion 3500 syringe pumps. We have three of them in the Samaritan ED located in two in our trauma room and then one on our peds cart down at the end of the hall in the ED. We have Caitlin Farley here from Pharmacy who will be going providing the tutorial on the pump usage, the screen overall, and about three scenarios so that uh, we can demonstrate and maybe in a real life situation how you would program. Also, I just wanna make sure that everybody knows to please refer to your Addendum K for the pediatric Addendum K, which our pharmacy has done, had done a great job putting together and is based upon Albany Medical Center's uh, uh, concentrations and infusion rates and so on and so forth. So let, I'm gonna take it over with Kate and Kate's gonna go over the pump now. Okay, Kate. Okay, so here on the bottom is your power button. We'll turn that on. And I have it plugged in for Kate beforehand, so. Yes, unfortunately these do have to be plugged in because I feel like it loses battery often and quickly. You'll see it's loading up and verifying everything. We already have these programmed to match what is in the addendum K. So here's your um, first screen. This will be where you can pick your meds by the first letter of the medication name. So here, what we'll do first before we even do that though, is we're gonna um, use our syringe and we're gonna show you guys how to hook the syringe in. Over here is a clamp. It's best to make sure that this is up and to the back, you can clip here and pull out. We'll take the flange. Correct, the flange, oh, flange. love that word. This slides in right here, yes, can you see it? I can see it, yes, Clips. Right. Then you slide it in to where the barrel yes. meets the side here. This comes out a little bit. For the flange. This will come back and clips it in. Excellent. You can see here we have now finally have tubing. So this will connect through here. And then we'll come out and there's a good distance for you guys to be able to hook it up to the patient. Yes. Here we'll start with our first scenario to help show you guys how to program. Our first one is this. We have a three-year-old who weighs 18 kilograms. They've arrived to the ED in a cardiac arrest. The team was able to achieve ROSC. The patient's pH level is 6.987 and the provider wants to start a bicarb drip. So here's where um, we will provide, the pharmacy will provide you the medication in the syringe and we'll go and start program, programming it. Here, it's gonna be sodium bicarb. So it's gonna be under S, so we hit six. You can see sodium is the first one. Yep. So we'll hit one, Oops, sorry. Press a little. Yep. More. Okay. You definitely have to press firmly here. Yes. We want it. They constantly want to confirm mm -hmm. doses and um, whether you're ready to start. So you'll find that you'll be hitting yes a lot. This here shows the 60 ml. Unfortunately, when this was programmed, we had 60 ml syringes. We now have 50 due to errors that were made by BD. Um, we're looking to get this changed in programming, but it is the same size. So this, it doesn't matter in terms mm -hmm. of that this says 60 and this says 50. We'll always provide it with you and double check to make sure the volume's right. Perfect. So we'll say confirm. So the patient's weight, we said it was 18 kilograms. So do one eight in kilograms, enter. Now this is where you're gonna go to your addendum K and make sure that this matches up with the starting rate that they have here. So when we look, it is the same. Yep. So you would find that it is 0 0.5 MEQs per kilogram per hour. And you can see that the low here is our low. Yep. So that's our saw, that's our hard stop and our high is a hard of four. And these also a match the addendum case. Okay, so here's where you'd hit enter. That's what you wanna start it at. Unfortunately, the screen locks often. So sometimes you will find that you have to hit this button. Okay because it automatically yes, locks. Button, right, yes. right. So here is where you'll see that the concentration, which will match the addendum K, is one MEQ per ml. The weight is 18 kilograms. 
Our starting dose is 0.5 MEQs per kilogram per hour. So this will end up being a final rate of nine mLs an hour. To start this, you can see up here, it keeps flashing. It that. will yep, say press. press the double arrow key to prime. So before we can even start the drip, you have to prime. You have to press and hold the button, right? Right. So it says exit when prime is complete. So if you can see here, priming volume is 0 0.00 mLs. If we prime it, if we hold it, you'll Perfect. see it start to light up and it's priming. Once you reach to the point where it's been primed, you can stop and hit it again. and hold to prime. Oh, press exit. Exit, exit, exit. that's okay. Exit, yeah. exit. And now we're ready to, yeah. And now you're ready to start. Perfect, and there you go. So now you can see as when these arrows are light yeah. up, you this is when it's being used exit. and the pumps is actually running. Perfect. Okay, great, that was pretty now, simple. Very nice, very easy. Now, if you want to titrate on any of these, mm -hmm. what you would do is you would hit change dose so here is again where you go to the addendum K and see how you can titrate up. Um, per our addendum K, you would titrate up by 0 0.5 MEQs per kilogram per hour. So this is where, where we started at one, we're, or start at 0 0.5, we're gonna go to one. So we're gonna hit that and hit enter. And now you can see that the dose went changed here as well as the rate doubled, which makes sense because we right. doubled in our uh, so you never have to stop the pump, just like our current pumps, to change and titrate. Great. If you ever have to leave the room and want to lock this so no yes. one can mess with the screen, here's your little lock button here. Oh, that's easy. And you can there see you that it's li it lights up there as well to show you that it is locked so there's nothing to worry about when you leave the room. Perfect. Then you can always unlock. hit it to unlock. Okay. Great. So that will that's scenario one. We can go back. So if we want to clear it. We can hit we can hit stop so this will also show you your total volume so total volume delivered yeah yep. okay total great. volume delivered it and um if that ever has to be recorded or sent to albany med as well great so here we stopped it it's no longer running you would go back to the we can go back to the main menu mm -hmm. here will uh, another scenario that we'll have is that we have a five day old that is 2.6 kilograms. They come to the ED and they're flagged for sepsis. The doctor's concerned for septic shock and wants to treat the baby with um, antibiotics prior to their transfer to Albany Med. Orders for gentamicin and ampicillin have been sent to the pharmacy and uh, pharmacy will send it over. As an example, we can run uh, gentamicin. So here you can see in the addendum K is mostly our ROSC and cardiac arrest medications. We have yet to add the antibiotics because that is usually programmed by volume. So what we'll do here is if you go to look for it, you will see that it won't be there. So here's where you could look and say, right. oh, is there gentamicin? No, no. it's not. Okay. So we'll go back. Here's where you would hit more because these are by meds, but you can also have another screen where you can click and run it free, almost like IV fluids. Right. So you have your different options to run it by ML per, per hour, dose per kilogram, many different options. What we have found in training is that either mills per hour, number one, or number five, volume over time, seem to be the best options. So we'll take volume over time. Again, it wants you to confirm that that is what you want, mm -hmm. yes. It wants you to confirm the syringe size. Um, in this one, actually, we will we'll switch it because they we do 10 ml syringes for babies. Perfect. So we'll take that out. So just remember, the same thing will be with fluids, which Kate's going to show in a minute. We'll have to do, we'll do that kind of that generic cho choice volume over time. We won't, we won't have uh, the fluids either. So we'll Pretty easy load. There we go. There we go. So then, as you can see, we change the syringe size, and it and does it automatically it, yeah. recognize it without exactly. having to go back. So we'll confirm that it's ten. 
here again we have to enter the volume to be infused so this we um, pharmacy sent gentamicin 8 milligrams and a 10 ml syringe to run over one hour so this wants volume. Again, we have highs and we have lows. These are yep. very, very broad ranges so that you should never really ever hit that amount. So here we're gonna do 10 mLs, enter. enter. Volume, so here, or I'm sorry, time. So here we're gonna do one hour. If you try to do 60 minutes, it does not let you. Yep. Right, so right. you have to actually hit one hour so there we there have go. hour one minute hour. seconds yes Perfect. so we would hit enter again our ranges are from three minute three seconds to 24 hours so you would hit enter okay there you go and here you go is your volume is 10 mls your time is one hour and your rate is going to be 10 mls per hour so here you can again the, though we don't have the tubing set up, right. you would hit, hit bolus the... to prime <clears throat> and you have to hit it and hold it. So Perfect. we're going to let it prime. Sounds good. You can hit exit and then, and then you start the medication. Perfect. Okay. There you go. You're running. You got your volume. You're, yep. And you it shows your time. It starts ticking down. Perfect. Great. Excellent. Here you can see your total volume because we didn't clear it from what was done right. with the sodium bicarb is it'll start calculating the actual total volume the baby has received from all the different drips if you don't clear it. And it will also sometimes change to PVD, which is your program volume to be right. delivered. So you'll see it flip through those. Here is your button. If you wanted to clear it, you can clear it here. That's a good, Again, good if point. You, if you want to lock it, just yeah. hit the lock button. Good point. So if you want to keep on the little ones, we, we are very strict about how much volume we're giving them. So in recording it, so that's a good point. So Keep if we're time. done with this one, good, we can do some fluids. Okay. So again, you would hit stop if you need to go back. See so programmed. So Program that was button. of the amount that was the program to be that was delivered. Yep. So we go back to main menu. So here's one where a one month old presents to the ED with mom. Um, chief complaint of his vomiting and diarrhea times two days. Um, baby's skin is dry and cool to the touch. Capillary refill is four seconds. No medical history. The baby was full term. No allergies, but no tears when crying. Baby's heart rate is tacky in the 180s and weight is 6.8 pounds. So we wanna give the baby fluids, which is 20 mLs over, um, 20 mLs per kilo over 20 minutes. So here we'd have to figure out how much volume to be delivered and program the pump. Right. Again, because this is a fluid, we're not gonna do many, we're not gonna go to the med screen, so we'll go, go to, to more. Okay. Here, again, you can try mLs over hours, but you'd have to do some math, so we'll just pick volume over time. <clears throat> again, you have to confirm it. It recognizes the syringe size. So here, since it's 20 mLs per kilo, Luckily, our computers will be calculating our <laughs> kilos for us. Um, so, 6.8 pounds. Right. Is 3 pounds. Point point oh 3.09. Right. Or 3.1. <laughs> times 20 ml. So, we'll end up being 61.8 ml. Perfect. So, okay. here would be 61.8. Eight. Obviously, you would have a bigger than a 10 ml syringe for practical purposes. Right. But here you would hit enter. And because this is to be given over 20 minutes, you're gonna fill up to the minute part. So we do two, zero, which is 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, perfect, okay. And hit enter. Okay, great. So again, volume 61.8 mLs over 20 minutes. Time remaining, clock hasn't gone off yet. This is your rate in mils per hour if you have to document that way. Right. Again, it's the bolus, hold it, good to go, hit exit, and then start. Okay, perfect. So if it, anything over that 50 ml syringe, we'll be doing a course on the pump, of course it'll be, be in a, a 
fluid bag of sort of sorts but um, this is syringe pump only and the tubing um, pharmacy kind pharmacy actually um, kindly obtained all these pumps for us thank God and uh, we also have the tubing now we've ordered it and it will be supplied and Samaritan we're going to keep it to at least one tubing with each pump so everyone can start um, fresh but we do have a supply of tubing and I think that is it if you have any questions please uh, check with myself or with Kate as always and I hope this video is helpful to you